Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. Today we're gonna do another vector noise exploration. Um, instead of using lines or circle, we're gonna be using um, 3D objects. Of course, because the Blender is a 3D app, and then you can do design that looks like this. So on the left, you have something that looks like a, like a stone kind of design. On the right is a if you actually extend uh, the length of this guy, um, let me try. Um, basically, the, this primitive I'm using is called rounded rounded box. It's one of my favorite because this guy can actually extend itself, so we can make it a little bit longer in in X or in the Y or in the Z axis. Let's make it really tall and randomize the seed. So, it, so it's like um, it's a bit like capsule kind of design. This thing is really interesting in itself. Um, but basically, the noise is used to push uh, some of the vertices here um, on their normal, and then we have this kind of design looks like a stone or like a tooth ah, anyway we're gonna start from scratch so delete this we don't need this guy put in a layer 2 go to compositing file save as let's call this uh, rounded box noise it's um, this guy responsible so rounded box um, it's quite an interesting primitive uh, that blender itself doesn't have but we can use it here from spray shop this guy actually generate uh, like a box but with, ra with rounded edges so, um, if you just plug in the vertices and polygon it doesn't work right away you need to bring in you need to at least have this input and this guy, if you have a value that's uh, larger than zero, it will extend. So this is actually the full um, kind of the full uh, result of this rounded box. You can of course change the radius, and you can also play with this uh, division, arc divisions. Um, let's use a small value and zero this out for now. Let's leave it like that. Looks like a subdivided cube. Save as. Um, now let's use um, our noise. Vector noise MK2. And let's do the easy one first. If you just use vector math. Oops. Vector math. We can basically pipe, uh, pass in the original point positions, and then just add, add it with this uh, vector noise position, and then we get that kind of messy looking mesh. We can randomize the seed, and this is almost like a um, displace modifier, sort of. And you can, of course, control the scale of the noise and whatnot. But we are not, we're not gonna do it this way. Um, we will be using the the normal, the vertex normal of this mesh. So this is the different. Before I do that, I'll probably will do the vector math scale thing multiply by scalar let's say I think I can drop it here and then use a float and this kind of control the strength of the noise so that's in itself is already quite interesting you can generate many variations that way and of course with the seed, you can easily um, plug in like uh, 
random points here and generate a 10, 100, 1000 kind of variations. So that's the easy part. Let's um, let's deal with this predicts normal and rounded box. Um, I actually quite like this. I'm gonna group it. So this is one way we can do it. Another way is if we use a vector math and let's use the vector. Actually, just plug this guy in there add and plug the original and I believe we will get something that's a little bit pushed out in the normal it's like it's being pushed one unit out it's almost like a displace modifier if you just push the vertices out one unit so you can think of it that way I think you can use vector math in here and scale multiply by scalar and float so this kind of um, the strength of the the normal being pushed okay now that's now that's being taken care of let's use another vector noise mk2 and plug this guy in there and the scalar at the moment doesn't work with the seed, so you just use vector and let's just vector out this guy and use the scalar value into this guy. Okay, now now this guy is being pushed in the normal, so it's being pushed out or in and being influenced by the noise. I think that's that's what happening now. So the result is. Uh, more interesting that than this guy up there. So one, two, three, four, five. Just five noise, uh, five nodes to do this. This guy is adding the thing together. This is uh, the one responsible for it. So it's still rather simple. We can randomize the seed, of course, and let's control the strength further. So we replace this guy with this guy. So we probably need another scalar here and then control it using float. So I use this quite often to control the strength. Okay, so see if the radius, actually the radius also kind of have effects with the final result of this uh, random looking stone you can increase and decrease the artificial of course get a smoother looking stone we don't need to see the points we can use shading we don't need to see that either okay so so yeah so that's pretty much it actually if you want to generate multiple of this guy just use plain I like using plain because it just generate this grid matrix in here plug in this guy plug in that guy so we have four four too little let's make 25 we want it um, we want each one of them to have different look so we need to Vary the seed here. Random integer or integer range. Count 25. Plug this into the seed. And okay, we don't get the result yet. Um, there might be something that I I forgot to do. So. Probably it's uh, in this repeat list repeater. We need to have 25 as well. So that seems to be correct. If I bake it, if it's work, then it's uh, your setup is correct. 
um, so big keep that 25 rock design they are almost still kind of the same dimension so you can randomize further in this guy so just uh, maybe in the z axis So some can be taller, some can be less tall. Kind of wondering what this lean efficient for. Well, file save as. You could actually um, see with this. With this, what we have now, we, you can actually add this on top of this guy. Just add them together to get more variations. So let's do that. <coughs> That's 50. But this is, of course, adding uh, the complexity. You'll get more, but it get a little bit more complex. It's more random and weird looking. Put this guy somewhere else. <clears throat> Maybe make it a little bit subtle, but that's definitely adding something to it. Kind of ways we can subdivide this rock. Spread them apart a little bit more. We don't want kind of a overlapping points, so be careful with that. Just very subtle. Voronoi or standard Berlin, whichever you like. Um, even cell cell noise can be okay for this. So I'm kind of curious about what this rate of linear division per surface. Weird. Okay. Increasing this will give you more detail, but that's not not what we need at the moment. Obviously, with the with the height there, you can randomize it random number generator and we have 25 use the float let's just randomize it in the z-axis and just increase the value like that it's like a some kind of uh, obelisk or I don't know do you call it men here in uh, English, I don't know. Maybe it's called obelisk. Um, it's something that looks like that. <clears throat> if you know the comics, asterisk um, and obelisk. One of the guy always carry stone like this. What else I can do here? We can randomize the scale, of course, but we cannot change the top or the bottom from here because this is not like a cylinder. This we have we can control the radius, but not the top and bottom radius. I guess that's pretty much it for this live noting. Um, you can play around with the noise further, randomize the seed and generate hundred. I think once you have like hundred variations, you can just reuse it using uh, particle instancer. It's gonna be much more efficient. Even fifty variations, and you can't really tell if you randomize the size. You can't tell if this guy is the same as the other the other guy. That's actually kind of my my trick. 
So let's say you have these variations. Oh, actually, it's complaining about something. Please index out of range. That's weird. This is a weird thing that's uh, happening before as well. Sometimes it doesn't bake, and you don't actually need to do the list repeat. Um, I don't know, it's just a little bit of glitch. Now I can bake it. Anyway, so this guy, 25 of them, control G. Now we have this 25 stones, and each one of them, you can still reset the position. Okay. Now that we have that guy, if we actually create a cube and with this cube we want to emit particles, let's see, um, make this into wire, just emit 1000 particle and use a volume, random volume, we don't need any physics, we just want to use this guy as instant so we use the group if we if we do that and randomize the the normal where is it the rotations here we actually have uh, quite a lot of objects Let me quickly do something so we can see the particles. Only renders and this guy. Do not display the emitter. Okay, so we have these pieces of stone, 1000 of them, and their blender still very interactive, very fast, and you can go through this thing. See, you're not limited to 1000, you can have uh, 10,000. 50,000 for example and still pretty fast because you're only using like 25 of this instance and you have these variations of uh, of the instance and you can randomize the size with the particles pick random and uh, you can randomize the color and you can you can do whatever it's actually very interesting the way I don't know for from me starting learning uh, blender a while ago um, it has been kind of a like a good progress because I'm beforehand I don't have uh, we don't have spray chalk and animation notes back then and I'm just I learned blender um, like self solve and then learning the particles inside out just by trying all these uh, attributes and the good thing about this is even though blender particle is kind of limited it gives you a lot okay you can do a lot with just the current particle system once blender particle system become like a node base it's gonna be like so powerful and you, you can't believe what you can actually do with it um, yeah, so that's this. This is currently my proposed um, workflow. If you want to use particles and spray chalk to generate your instance objects, this is probably how you want to do it. Okay, I'm gonna turn this mat cap and let's pick one. It's gonna be for the screenshot. GLSL. Okay, thank you again for tuning in to Blender Sushi Live Noting. If you have any comments, suggestion, and anything you want to say, let me know, um, and I'll reply as soon as possible. I'll see you in the